God, this inner monologue of himself is pretty long. Eh, don't put that to context. It's just a normal thing to say. Twitch always does that. Like, if somebody ever says something like, Whoa, that's pretty long. Or that's a long, long, I don't know. Like something bad that's going to happen, like an explosion or they're falling. They just go like, he dead. He rip. Hey, we're here. Man. This would look like another, like another amazing place to be. Oh my god, this place looks so amazing. What? God, there is that question that's sent around the internet, like, if you were to live in the world, like, if you were to live in a make-believe world, like, Pokemon or Batman or Lord of the Rings, which world would it be? Oh man, that guy was right yesterday. Huh. But their their place was damaged. <laughs> and apparently they lived. Their hometown was recently attacked by sin. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Oh now it yes, Bob, and they mention it too. All the stops to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting, isn't it folks? Our next team off the ramp is I don't think anybody's paying attention to the TV. It's us. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Basaid Orox. Hey, we're here. Statistical impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. <laughs> wow. That's right. In 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. <laughs> Sounds like the Toronto Maple Leafs to me. God damn. It totally sounds like the Maple Leafs to me. 23 years of never even making it to the first round. I'm putting shit on my own my own favorite team. That's sad, really. But I have a heart made of gold to them. But to take away one of their star players? That's a bad choice. That guy is clapping fast back there. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay, okay. That kind of sounds like somebody from The Legend of Korra, the announcer. Come on, guys. Just don't let anything get in your way. Oh god, what's he doing? Stop right there, goers. What's going on? You guys are smiling now, but not for long. Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup. What you doing out there? We sure stood out though. We were on the sphere. We were. Mr. Micah is here. Already? Come on, we're just trying to get motivation for ourselves, not facepalm everywhere. Mr. Micah has arrived. That's what. Micah. Mr. Micah. Mr. Micah. Micah. Mr. Burger. Meister. Meister. Burger. What the hell? What the? Fifty years. Was that a red Snorlax? On your mouth now. I'm watching Pokemon again. I just saw a cage that looks like it had a red Snorlax. There's no such thing as a red Snorlax. What in the actual fuck? I want to keep watching, but 
I don't think it's gonna show anymore. Oh man, I do remember that one episode that had like a baby Lugia. <laughs> okay. I guess we really have to go to the tournament, huh? Here we go, boys. Blitzball tournaments. Uh, one of the things that I have to say is the worst part of Final Fantasy X. Uh, Alright, let me see that fucking cage. Oh god, don't kiss. Please. Um... Okay. Yeah, it, it is a fucking red Snorlax. What the hell? Can't see a thing. It's not. <laughs> it's got a time. It's got an alarm clock in there. Oh, it was a fake. It was a costume. <laughs> oh my god. The red Snorlax was just a costume. Hey, it's Seymour. That's a Guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? Ta <laughs> goodness. He looks like that guy from fucking Pokemon Coliseum. Nascor. The guy that you have to catch the Metagross from. Come on, damn it, pray. Yeah, it made no sense about that red Snorlax, because a shiny Snorlax is a darker blue. Not a red. Rise, Maester Seymour. And all of you as well. I present to you. Oh my god, it's almost the hour. Why am I so tired? I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jisco worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. God, his face. Those are probably veins on inside his head, in the form of a shape, of sort of symbol. And they're still, fl <laughs> yeah. People are commenting they're still in the air, cause they're blasting off still. Ugh. <laughs> That's the fucking chair. He's got purple eyes. You up, yeah? All right, let's oh yeah, I think he's a summoner too, cause he has one. I think he has an Aeon. Okay, now I think there's an Albed somewhere. Unless I did pick that up last time I played. Come on, I just want to get past the Blitzball tournament. Cause I don't want to... I kind of don't want to explain it, cause it's a... Yeah. It's... It's coming up. <gasps> Is it Waka? Ah. Where's Waka? At the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. People are... People in the comments are really wanting to see a movie. Captain Waka! Sadly, no. It's another episode of Pokemon Chronicles. We're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right. We got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. Hey, yeah. First things first. Let's go over the basics again, boys. Okay, this is the part where it takes really long in the game of learning how to play Blitzball. And, uh, I don't think I want to waste anybody's time here. Um. Oh, God damn. Yeah, I really don't want to waste anybody's time here, because 
It takes really long to understand Blitzball. We get the moving. Actually, we get the passing and shooting, I guess. Isn't there like a practice for this? God, I just don't want to. Like, can I just look this up? Hold on. Hold on. Just for a few seconds, I'm going to look up how to play Blitzball on Game Facts because it's a lot better than fucking going through all this. Blitzball is essentially the European football of the Final Fantasy X universe. It's a fun sport, at least to me. By the way, this is a guy who wrote this guide. This math here. There's even status ailments and tech. What is this fucking Smash Brothers? This is literally me trying to learn how to play fucking Smash Brothers Melee and it's fucking L canceling and uh, wave dashing. There is a catch to the math though. If your character has more stats than the opponent, you probably have a better chance of getting the big advantage of like either stealing the ball or um, passing him, like breaking through him. I'm just going to end it and see what happens. I've been through enough. I kind of don't want to learn it. I can learn it on my spare time, but not on a recording right now. I'm pretty sure there's going to be trophies of doing the blitz ball. Ooh, Oren. He's here? Ugh. Got fucking... Got a thing in my throat. Hey. Whew. Hey, hey, hey. The game starts like real soon. Oh, come on. Come back quick, I actually don't want to go to this game. Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, Waka. You're stiff, man. So what the hell was that little girl doing? Just breathe out. Relax. In this Pokemon. She was talking to some Lapras's, uh, talking about an Aerodactyl. <laughs> oh yeah, because it broke free of the lab and it has escaped. Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. Huh? I highly doubt it. Sir Oren also, I think that cape is going through that panther's thighs. So he might know where Sir Jack is. Let's go now. At least this is better graphics. It didn't even occur to me to think that the RN Yuna was talking about. And the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm either going to cut way. out that whole part about the Blitzball explanation or not. Because it took like forever. Uh-oh. It said like a uh, block, a uh, blank summoner. Some Albed saved me the other day, and this girl Riku gave me food, and uh, you don't understand me, do you? I can uh, somehow understand you, like fifty percent. I don't know. Uh, anyway, if you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Oh, and as for the first game. May the best team win. Oh, they're a team. They're a blitzball team. What's, a, what's with the wicked what's with the weird goggles though? I don't know. Oh that's right. We skip out of the first game and Waka makes them win and go to the finals. Yeah, I remember. Um but I know there's an Albed thing somewhere. I'm actually gonna fucking 
do that right now. Outbed Primer Volume 6. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Simply follow the linear path outside to the main gate area. Then go west and down the other set of stairs. You can find at the end on the ground. Like around here or somewhere around? Uh, hold on. Simply funnel the linear path outside to the main gate area. Okay, just this way. Then go west and down the other set of stairs. <sighs> Lots of stretching all around this dang place. He is so bored. <laughs> what a weird looking microphone dildo. I'm sorry. Please let me through. Hey, let's go. <laughs> what a weird looking camera. You're really it looks like it's being powered with fluid. Oh, there's another Albed primer. Okay, follow the linear path outside the main gate, then go west and down the other set. I hope we don't get separated. After this cutscene, uh? surrender or prepare to fight. What was that? <laughs> I whistled. <laughs> In Xanarkin, we do this to cheer on Blitz players. You try it too. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. Like this? Uh -uh. Not like that. This. Then you just blow. <laughs> That's what she said. Aw, she's not trying. Practice. Okay. Aw, she's practicing. Use that if we get separated. Then I'll come running. Okay. Well, guess we should just stick together then. Until you can do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't call me sir. Okay. It's west here. And then follow the second set of stairs. Until you find a primer. I'm probably found it already. Oh no, I was right here. Maybe it's uh, this way. It was this way, go west, then follow another set of stairs. You can... You can the Albed Primer at the end here. Uh, okay. Oh wait, I saw a treasure. I saw a treasure. So wait, follow linear path. Gives a good excuse to leave. Simply follow the linear path. Okay. Okay, here's treasure. Yeah, I got treasure. I got six hundred dollars. Sweet. And I got a title spear. Ooh, that looks like something for um, Kimahiri. Piercing and water strike. I guess that's, like, it has a water special thing now. Okay. Maybe if I, uh, okay. Anyway, after the tutorial, Yuna will burst in, giving a good excuse to leave. I can't believe I'm looking up a walkthrough for this. So, okay. Oh, it's right here. I can't believe I skipped this. You'll find the Albed Primer and two high potions. Here it is. So now the translations of V's will turn into F's. 
And you'll find two high potions here. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, guys. I'm I'm walkthroughing on the Final Fantasy game. Great. Just great. But there is another Albed primer. Um I guess after after a certain point. But we'll continue our search to find Orin. I just really want to collect those Albed primers cuz I really want to understand what they're talking about. I shouldn't I should have done that while I was doing my previous save file. Whoa. This is a pretty big town. Luca, Man, I love towns like this. In fact, I really hope that's what the next Pokemon game is going to be like. Like 3D camera. That's that should be in the next mechanic instead of like a straightforward top-down view. It's got to be like 360. Pokemon XT and Coliseum did that. So why can't an actual RPG? Like an actual normal Pokemon game. Oh, there's an HP sphere and a magic sphere somewhere. <laughs> they misspelled Butch again. I guess I'll have to go back and, and get that then. At Dock That's 5, right. you'll find a ton of boxes. Look at the mini-map, you're going to see a path along too. off from the northeast. Which leads to an HP sphere and a magic mm. sphere. Well, there are more I actually really need that. I love me some game. HP. Oh. Love me some HP. They must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? Well, I do see some tall buildings in this city, in the city of Toronto. I'm pretty sure which city does have the really tall buildings. I'm guessing New York City. Which, by the way, the Genesect movie took place in fucking New York. Isn't that where the Unova region is? Oh, wait. There's one in the movie theater, isn't it? Yeah, this is the theater area. Hold on. Um, go northeast from this area to the theater area. Isn't this the theater area? Where you can find Elbed Primer Volume 7. Hmm. Um, I don't see it. Damn it, I just got out. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again. I can barely see it though. Maybe it's in this room. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So now the K's are G's in the Al Bed thing. So in this theater room, you can practically watch cutscenes in this fucking game. How weird is that? In fact, they do have a theater in the Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon game. Like, make replays of dungeon expeditions you just did. But you, I think you would have to talk with Meowth about it. They're talking to an Aerodactyl. Don't you know it's going to kill us all? Arrow bars. I wonder if that's what people are spamming. <laughs> Arrow bars. Nope, it's just eating some pears. Okay, this is dock five. Here I'll find that those spheres. It's gotta be around here. I think. Or no, it's uh, just past here. Yeah, here we go. You got a magic sphere and an HP sphere. Sweet. 
Now I can do stuff. Sorry for wasting anybody's time here. I just actually want to do a collect-a-thon of something, like Final Fantasy. I actually want to be super strong on this Let's Play. And to do that is to grind and stuff. Collect! And I will be greater than great. Greater than I used to be. Come on, Yuna, hurry up. Try to learn, try to run like me. Oh my <laughs> god, that worked! <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Can you read that?